So hey there everybody, welcome to Northern Arizona where it's kind of chilly today, um, even though we're in the month of April. So right now behind me where I am, we're really close to KPRC, which is Prescott's Ernest Love Field. We're also close to Embry-Riddle University and several other flight schools. So we've got some open land behind us and we're really, really close to the airport. So we had to put in a request through the Lance system to be able to fly this location for one of our clients. We had a client get in touch recently. They're building a new home right out here. They've got some great views of Granite Mountain that are hidden by the hill here at the moment. But so we had to put in our request for a zero foot AGL area. The request I made was for 100 feet above ground level, but I didn't even need to use the full 100 feet. So this is just preparation and planning for the new build that this client is doing. So I recently did another video on zero foot AGL. And as it was pointed out in the video, the one thing that clipped out was me actually setting up on a loft. So I got into a loft, I was getting ready to set it up and something dropped out on the computer. So I had to re-record that segment and re-record it again. And unfortunately, it actually put in some actual requests, which I did need to have done as well. So with that in mind though, I couldn't go back and just pop the new recording in. So I decided to bring you out here with me. We just finished our flights here. And like I said, you know, we were flying in zero AGL. We did have a Lance authorization. We had to set it up through DJI's Fly Safe. And then we had to upload the area that we could fly into the Mavic 2 um, after we did the DJI Fly Safe. So we went through the entire process and you've seen the rest of the process, but what I'm gonna do right now, because I feel kind of dopey for uploading that video the other day, because um, I had three different versions. I had one that would have worked well enough. I uploaded another one, and then I was clearing my drive out afterward because I wasn't gonna use this again, so I wiped out all the initial videos. Of course, because that's what happens. So right now I've got the handy dandy iPhone. We're going to put the iPhone into recording mode. So this should not clip out on us because it's not Bluetooth through my air server, which is what happened the other day. So now we're taking a look right here on screen. I've got a loft right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign into a loft. So you can do these things out in the field too. Please note, we're doing a zero AGL. There is no way that when I put this request in that the request is gonna be processed today. Don't even think about it. If you need to submit for a zero AGL, and you're using the Lance system, which is perfectly fine, then you need to give yourself a couple of days head start, okay? Because the FAA is not always gonna get your manual approval. I've had some people ask, hey, I keep, uh, I keep getting my uh, requests rejected. One of the reasons why the request might be rejected is because you were trying to do the same day in a zero AGL. You're not gonna see that happen. So normally for me, when I've been doing the zero AGLs around this area up near KPRC, Usually I will get it processed within 24 to 48 hours. So normally I will book a couple out um, because you never know about weather. So if we have a bad weather day and we need to try to go the next day, if we didn't set up another one for the next day, we might have screwed ourselves. All right, so we're in here and right now on screen, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom into this and there is where I am right now. And it's also a blocked out area because I have other requests here. So what I'm gonna do down below the main map area is tap under authorization maps. And we're gonna see this is exactly where I wanna be. And it's also showing that we're in a zero AGL. There's zero all around me. What I can do below the Latin long, we've got six KPRC notices. So we've got standard for today, UAS facility map, permissible altitude authorization is zero feet. But below that, I have the flight that I did today. So there's my Lance authorization. So, and it's also telling me I still have a little more time here, ends in an hour, because I did block out two hours. I've got another one set up for in four days. Why do I have another one set up for in four days? We're gonna be coming back out here today. We were doing a little testing with Litchi. We were doing a little testing with 
um, the DJI GO 4 app. I just want to make sure that everything is exactly right. This isn't a complex site, but because of the proximity to the airport, um, you know, there's just a little more that I have to do. So I have some authorizations and I've got one more authorization out in two weeks. So how do I deal with this now? Let's go look at the main screen again where it says get authorization. I tap get authorization and it says part 107 commercial. I am a part 107 commercial operator. So we do have our certificate and everything from the FAA. So that's what I'm tapping in here. So let's say I want to reuse this block, this specific block right here that I'm already using because I'm coming back again and again. All I want to do is set this to 100 feet. So all I'm requesting here is 100 feet above ground level. We've been watching the planes go around us. We've been watching the helicopters go around us. Jody has been right here with me. We've been watching AirMap uh, 24 as well. And we've also been listening in on my Yezu ham radio to some of the flight traffic as well. So now that I've said 100 feet, I tap next. And now we're gonna put our date and time in here, okay? So the date and time, let's go ahead and we would like to make a request. And let's make that, I've already made one for Sunday, May the 1st. So the next one that we'll need to do for this customer is Sunday, May the 8th. And we're gonna set this from 9 a.m. So I'm just scrolling this here from 9 a.m. There we go. That's going to be our start time. And so 5, 8, 22, 9 a.m. Duration, two hours. Um, yeah, two hours should be good enough for us on this one. You can see the blocks overlaying this. I'm going to tap next again. And in tapping next again, it says to me, this is eligible for further consideration. So what that means is this is going to need to be submitted to the FAA. So if when I hit that next button, it's going to put in a submission through the Lance system, through a loft, and they're going to then get it evaluated for me. So all the information that I need to put in is here. If I hit the next button, what it's going to do is it's going to throw it in for that further consideration. Once again, don't even think about it in under 24 hours. You know, give yourself a little room there, all right? So if I hit the next again, it's gonna submit that. I'm gonna get a text message sent to me letting me know that it's been submitted. And maybe sometime tomorrow or the next day, that's gonna come through and I'm gonna get a notification as to whether or not I was accepted and approved. I'm not gonna hit this next button. I've got several other uh, flights loaded here uh, in a loft right now and I don't wanna flood them with anything. We've got a little bit of time and also uh, bottom line, I need to be watching the weather. So right now what's working for me is I'm usually putting these at least a week in advance and I'm also paying very close attention to the weather and if I need to alter things, I will. So I'm not gonna hit that last next button for you, sorry about that, but I just don't want to spam the FAA, spam the Lance system. So we're gonna let that one go for now. All right, now I'm gonna take this off of record on the iPhone, cause that should be it. So let's go ahead, there we go. The record on the iPhone has been stopped. And now I'm gonna get everything packed up. But so, like I said, we did the video, uh, we did a video just the other day, and this, this chunk was a lot shorter, but since we're out here, I decided to just talk you through the whole thing. So between this video and the prior video, which I'll put a link to, this should give you everything that you need to know about utilizing a loft and putting in a Lance request for a location like this when you're in zero feet AGL. So, oh, by the way, I'm just gonna move this uh, just so that you can see here. There is a lot of construction going on out here. So I just wanted to turn this so that you could see we've got a lot of home sites in this area and more building is still going on. And most of that building in this area is zero feet AGL. So anytime I get a contact from a realtor or a builder, um, I've got to go ahead and set up the aloft thing because everything around me is zero here. Right off in the distance is the Granite Dells just to the south. And the backside of this property, for anyone who's interested in the Prescott area, backside of this property is the Peavine Trail, the rails to trail. Really fun ride through the Granite Dells on that rails to trail. So this particular house, is going to have a great view of Granite Mountain 
and this house is also going to be right next to the pea vine trail so a person could get up in the morning jump on their bike take a ride all right everybody we'll cut this one off now and we'll see you again real soon Five, number three follows Cessna head, runway two and left, clear to land.